What's up guys, Brendan Myers here. So I do have a question on YouTube and this individual by the name of Jay Sykes, he made this comment. Hey Brendan, can you do a video on how to get started? I wanna start training soon, but I don't know where to start. He's referring to calisthenics. And just to let you guys know, I am starting to call what I do Cal Aesthetics. So as you can see, this is something I'm representing right here, okay, and it's Cal Aesthetics. So you can achieve the physique you're looking for through body weight training. So you're just taking aesthetics and calisthenics and you're combining them and bam, now you have a reason to really work out for whatever you may be doing. So anyways, how do you start doing this? First of all, I do have a book out that explains everything. Everything you need to know from the gas theory to how to implement weight training with calisthenics to, there's so many different things, how to start with the basic trainings and how many reps and all those things. You can check that out on my website in my about section. But anyways, I'm gonna give you just a quick run through of really what you should focus on if you're trying to start calisthenics. First of all, you always wanna start off with basic movements and the basic movements the core fundamental movements would be push-ups pull-ups dips um let's see what else we got push-ups pull-ups dips squats so you're going to start off with those four different things so now you're really focusing on your whole upper body and your whole lower body also you want to make sure that you're doing a lot of core exercises and when i mean by core i don't mean just ab workouts but you also want to do lower back workouts because you know as I've said, it's a coupling effect on your pelvis. So if your abs are too strong for your lower back, you're gonna have problems in your lower back. It's gonna pull here, or it's gonna pull here, right? If your lower back is too strong for your abs, you're now gonna be here. And it throws off your whole spine. You wanna make sure your spine is always in a nice neutral position. So, focus on all those things. Now, with each specific exercise, how do you really start doing that? You need to focus on repetitions from, I would say, start anywhere from six to 13 reps. You wanna start with a hypertrophy phase because you wanna build muscle. You wanna build some type of muscle so that you can keep on pushing towards new variations and things like that. Then you wanna go into muscular endurance, which is 13 to 20 reps, and then you're gonna go into strength. So once your body is extremely conditioned and it has the size, then you can move into strength and more explosive movements, variations, and things like that, okay? Focus on rest times. You, whenever you go into the next exercise, especially when you're beginning with any of the basic fundamental movements, you wanna make sure you're completely rested. And what I mean by that, if it takes five minutes for you to be completely rested and be able to complete the same amount of reps that you did previously, then you wait five minutes. Now, once you start becoming more intermediate, then you can focus more on the actual rest periods. So for instance, hypertrophy is a minute and a half. Muscular endurance is 30 seconds to a minute. Strength training is anywhere from three to five minutes, okay? So focus on those movements, pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats, make sure your legs are extremely strong. Remember, flexibility training, do a lot of stretching. I have a stretching workout on my YouTube channel, a whole bunch of different exercises that you should be doing every single day. Make sure that's good. Also get some jogging in. Start, start with walking a mile, then move into a mile and a half of walking, two miles of walking, and then move into a half mile of jogging. Move it up to a mile of jogging, and then implement some swimming so it's low impact for you. You know, swim 200, 300 meters, and then, you know, just pursue with that and increase the intensity every single week. So if, for instance, if you're doing push-ups and pull-ups one day and dips, then, and you're doing seven reps of those per, or more realistically, if you're doing jumping pull-ups, or pull-ups, jumping dips, and knee push-ups, if because you're a beginner and you're doing six reps of that one week, move that up and add another set and rather than doing three sets of six, now do five sets of six. And then that next week, stay at, the, stay at three sets and then move up to eight reps and then take it off your knees. And then so it's all slowly transforming into where you can do all these basic fundamental movements so that now you can start implementing variation and going along with that. Now remember, as I said before, Core is extremely important, so follow that. Follow everything I've just said in this video. I know it's a little 
spacious with what I'm trying to tell you. It's a little bit everywhere. So hopefully this actually helped you. If you have any questions for me, please drop them down in the comment box. Again, check out my book. It explains everything in much more detail so you can really grow as an individual within calisthenics. Also, I am coming out with calisthenics and uh, weightlifting workout programs. That will be coming soon. My app is also coming out in probably a month and a half. I'm so sorry for the wait. Uh, but yeah, I'm Brennan. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon.